Everyone smile! It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to another episode of The Waiting Room. And without further ado, the doctor will see you now. Here's your host, my dentist, and yours, the role model and the face of AEW Women's Division, the incomparable Dr. Britt Baker! Go doctor, 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 go doctor. Thank you, Reba, and thank all of you so much. And Reba and myself would like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas on behalf of the waiting room. And we'd also like to thank Tony Khan for fixing our wall that Scorpio Sky ruined, just like he ruins every single episode of Dynamite he's ever been on. Don't touch oh. that, the paint's not dry. Sit down. Speaking of the holidays and the giving season, I hope everybody saw our gift to Thunder Rosa last week, a complimentary holiday facial. She's never looked better. <laughs> This just in today, we have it booked. It's on the calendar. Sting will be here on the waiting room, in this room, on this couch, next to me, next to Reba. We can't wait. There'll be snow. You guys, you cannot miss this one, right? I can't wait. Let's talk about Dynamite tomorrow because we have a huge episode. The Butcher versus Pack, Pack, Pack. The butcher just so happens to be wrestling someone who never fails to butcher the English language. <laughs> we don't know what you're saying, mate. <laughs> Chris Jericho and MJF of the Inner Circle will be taking on Top Flight. It's unfortunate for Darius and Dante that their 15 minutes of fame will be done after this, but that's okay because they're only 15 years old. Tons of time to recover, unlike our next guests who have been around since the beginning of time. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, CD's hair was once longer than mine. <laughs> we would love to introduce now our guests. We're so excited to have them here. Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian of S. SCU! SCU! Yeah, SCU! SCU! What? Oh, great entrance, great entrance, guys. You were off, you're off. We'll add that to the list of botches of SCU. Okay, so, Frank. I appreciate your attempted humor, Britt, but, um, not really in the mood to giggle right now. Was it supposed to be like this, was it? Let me take you back to last October, the inaugural AEW World Tag Team Title Tournament. It was supposed to be you and I, run through everybody, become tag team champion just like we have everywhere we've been. That didn't happen, did it? You got taken out, Scorpio Sky stepped in, and him and I, made history when we became the first ever AEW Tag Team Champions. Here we are almost a year later, and I think it's safe to say across the board, it's been a pretty rotten year. We've all lost something, some more than others. We've all, we've all lost a part of ourselves. But through it all, through all the disappointment and all the setback and all the frustrations, I knew that I could rely on SCU. I knew that I could rely on Scorpio Sky. And I knew that I could rely on Christopher Daniels. Until now. Last week on Dynamite, we wrestled the acclaimed, and you lost. Yeah, I know you got hit by a boombox, but you lost. As a matter of fact, any time we've been defeated as a team, that's been on you. Yeah, I know, this seems a little harsh, doesn't seem like I'm putting you on blast, but Chris, you need to understand something about me. Being successful in this business is more important to me than you will ever know. I'm just a kid 
from SoCal, who for the last 22 years have been provided a life that I could have only dreamed of. Everything I have is because of professional wrestling. I've met my best friends because of this business. I met my wife because of this business. I have an eight-year-old son that I adore because of this business. And the roof over his head, the clothes on his back, every meal he has ever eaten has been provided because of this business. So yeah, I've let professional frustrations get in the way of personal relationships. Because Chris, you're not just my tag team partner, are you? You're my best friend. You're my brother. You were the best man at my wedding. You and I, for 20 years, have traveled the globe together and we've been inseparable. So for allowing for allowing those professional frustrations to affect a personal relationship, I apologize. Stop, stop. Just stop, okay, stop. Don't apologize for being passionate about what you love. You are the epitome of a professional in this business. You were a fan that grew up to be one of the best wrestlers on the planet, and I'm proud to call you my partner and my friend. So don't apologize to me. I need to apologize to you because I lost that passion that you're talking about. You wanna talk about how bad 2020 is? 2020 was the worst year in my professional life. It was a wasteland of failure. And I let injury and adversity beat me and grind me down until the very thought of stepping into that ring filled me with nothing but fear and anxiety. I hated coming to work every week. The thought of getting on the plane made me sick to my stomach, Frankie. It made me sick. I've been falling apart for the last 10 months. And I always said to myself that I would know when it was time to walk away. So maybe all this stuff that's happened to me, all this failure, all this falling down, maybe that's a sign that it's time for me to walk away before I ruin the reputation of Christopher Daniels forever. Whoa. No, no, no. That, that, so you're just gonna walk off into the sunset? Leave with a whimper? No, 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 you don't get to do that. You don't get to do that to me. You don't get to do that to them. You don't get to do that to the people that have stood by your side and supported your career for almost 30 years. You don't get to do that to your wife and your children and your friends and our friends. And most importantly, you don't get to do that to yourself. I know you better than anybody, CD. And if there's one thing I know that you are, and that's a fighter. When your back is against the wall, you will fight. When the pressure is on, you will fight. So I am asking you one more time to fight by my side. These are drastic times, CD. So I'm gonna throw out some drastic measures and I need you to agree to this. Right now, we are at the bottom of the barrel of the tag team division. But we will fight, we will claw, we will work our way to the top and we will become AEW Tag Team Champions. Because from here on out, the next time you and I lose as a tag team, you and I are done as a tag team forever. Let's do it. You know what, TH2, I saw you guys sleezing around, there you are. Don't think we forgot about you guys. We'd like to cordially invite you into that ring to receive your exclusive one of a kind SCU ass beating.
Thank you. TH2, you didn't have to sit in the crowd. You co oh. totally could have gone backstage past as your friends of the show. But uh, Reba, Gosh. don't remind us to never book them again because I didn't get to say one freaking word on my whole show. Come here. Okay. Come on. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from the waiting room. Let's do it. Good night, everybody. This is the waiting room. She's Reba, and I am Dr. Britt Baker, DM.